statue in front of us was actually it's one of the most recent statues, and it's that of uh, Tomáš Gerek Masaryk. He was the first president. He was the founder of Czechoslovakia, and and the first president of Czechoslovakia. And there is uh, just a couple of quick old anecdotal stories. Uh, the uh, he had, uh, now I'm not sure if Paula correct me, but his mother was Czech and his father was Slovak. Mm -hmm. and, and so his whole notion, uh, even though the, the, the Slovak culture and the Czech culture are, are slightly different, the, the language is slightly different, but maybe it was his upbringing that he says, we can form a country together, uh, coming out of the Austria-Hungarian Empire, uh, we, can, uh, we can form a country of Slavs, uh, on our own and, and basically was instrumental in founding Czechoslovakia and for a long time as you may know there was uh, there was the country of Czechoslovakia in fact people still when I say I'm Czech they say oh you're Czechoslovakia well that that union uh, no longer exists but but uh, it, it has made its name probably mainly through sports I think people saw in Olympics and hockey and you name it uh, uh, the, the word Czechoslovakia so he, uh, he was founder of it. And, and the irony, uh, not irony, but interesting uh, point is that it really, the country was founded right here in the United States. Uh, there was a government in exile that he was heading up, uh, basically seated in, in Paris. And this is the end of uh, uh, First World War. There's uh, you know, a lot of turmoil in Europe. And he came up with this notion of creating an independent uh, uh, country of the Slavs and started uh, promoting that idea and touring the United States. By the way, his wife was American. He married an American uh, lady. He started touring the United States and, and hitting all these towns where Czechs and Slovaks were, uh, uh, have Im uh, immigrated. Uh, and uh, this, mom, uh, this uh, movement was gaining support. Um, and uh, he was here in Cleveland. And at that time, uh, there were like 20,000 people that marched uh, to downtown in support of the new country. And it was very, very, uh, like I said, at, at that time, there were like 41,000 Czechs living in Cleveland. So it was a strong community. Went to Pittsburgh. Same thing happened, Philadelphia, in Pittsburgh, he uh, sent a letter to President Wilson, Nico Wilson, declaring the intent to set up an independent country. And with all this commotion that was happening throughout the cities that he, uh, uh, that he visited, the President, by the time he got to Washington, recognized him as the President of the new country. And uh, de facto, uh, because the United States uh, recognized the uh, uh, nation, uh, the world. So the irony is that the country was born sort of, sort of between Chicago and Philadelphia. Chicago, uh, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia. But then he got to Washington, uh, to visit the country.